We are heading into a great semester loaded with lots of information that will benefit you as you begin to think about your own classroom. Okay, first things first, let's talk about the e-textbook. If you have not already done so, please read carefully through the syllabus, especially the required e-book for this class. The e-book was created specifically for this class and can only be ordered through McGraw-Hill. However, there will be a print copy available at the campus bookstore if you would prefer to purchase a print copy. This is an online course and you are expected to understand the navigation of eCollege. If you have not participated previously with web enhanced or online courses, you will need to take the tutorial found when you log into eCollege through MyLeo. Instruction in this course follows the tenets of project-based learning to guide you in learning key academic content. Practice collaboration, communication and critical thinking while creating high quality authentic products and presentations. Okay, looking at the left menu bar, you start at the top, you'll see syllabus. A current copy of the syllabus is provided with this link. This is where you will find instructions to order your e-textbook. The get started here link, you're viewing the introductory PowerPoint now. The technical support link, this is contact information for technical support. The library link, direct access to library resources. The student lounge link, introduce yourself and attach a photo. There will be many opportunities to dialogue with your classmates during the modules and it helps to connect a picture with an introduction. Virtual office link, submit questions about course content in this area. I check it frequently during the day, Monday through Friday. When checking virtual office and I read that a question has been answered adequately, I usually respond with that's correct. If your question is of a personal nature, contact me using the email drmccarran at gmail.com. Include the course prefix and number in the subject line of all, of all correspondence. The course performance project, Project instructions with the grading rubric can be found here as well as in Module 5. VoiceThread, be sure to click VoiceThread under the Course Home menu to activate your account. Otherwise, you will not be able to participate in the VoiceThreads inside the modules. Schedule link, all module due dates are listed here, so be sure to check this frequently so you know when your assignments are due. And then the modules that follow, module 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This is the instructional venue for learning course content. For readings and assignments in each model. Module. Why don't you go ahead and just start from the beginning there, right, since you're here. Oh, okay. And then I'll just edit that one part out. Okay. This course is set up in five modules with a due date for readings and assignments in each module. Refer to the module headings in the left menu. I do not enter the module to grade until after the due date. Therefore, you may re-enter to edit any submitted work. You will complete four assignments for each module. A reading assignment, a discussion thread, a performance project, and a quiz over the reading assignment. The performance project in each module offers you an opportunity to work as an individual, with a partner, or in a group of three to four students. Working with a partner or in a group requires you to follow my CCC. Collaboration, cooperation, completion. This means as an adult you will collaborate with another student or students in a cooperative manner to complete a high quality product. I truly believe two minds are better than one, so I encourage partnerships or groups. However, I will not mediate should an issue arise pertaining to CCC you are expected to find a solution. You will always have the choice to opt out of the partnership or group and work as an individual. When you look at the top menu bar and front page, one of the things you'll see it says announcements under course home. All updates and announcements concerning this class will appear in the top menu under announcements. Always check when you open this class. Gradebook, all grades will be posted here after the due date for the module. You will be able to see a current course average as well as my comments. Email. You can email individuals, groups, or the entire class. You will also need to check your MyLeo email daily. 
live. When there is a need for a live chat, you will be notified in advance of the scheduled chat. Doc sharing. I usually ask that you follow a sample format for the performance project you submit. Please preview this prior to completing your assignment. Dropbox. You will submit your performance projects and Module 5 project in this area. Hello and welcome to this video on how to submit an assignment in the Dropbox. Once you have signed in to your course, go up here to the tab that says Dropbox and click on that. And then you'll see the word Submit Assignment. Click on that. And we have a drop down menu. Click on your assignment. In here, if you want to cut and paste your assignment in here, or if you want to type your assignment in here, or if you just want to let the instructor know that uh, here is your assignment. If you're going to upload your assignment, you'll need to come down here where it says Add, Remove, and click on that. When this dialog box opens up, click on Browse. Select your document that you want to upload. Click Open. And then when you see that it's in here, click Attach File. And if it's uploaded successfully, you will see it down here. If you don't see it down here, then it did not upload successfully. And then you need to go over here and click on Submit Assignment. And then when you get to this screen, you'll see the assignment name and your document. That tells you that it uploaded successfully. If you see the name of the assignment here, and you attach a document and you don't see this icon, then that means that your attachment, your assignment was not attached correctly. Okay, hope this is a help. Journal. There may be occasions that you will be asked to write a journal submission based on a topic. It will always be listed in the module assignments. Webliography. Some assignments will require you to search the internet for a certain topic and submit the web link with a description. I also use this area to provide additional information such as APA format. Tech Support and Help. These two tabs will provide answers for questions related to eCollege issues. When we look at Module 5, this is the course performance project. Everything you do in 1, 2, 3, and 4, Module 1, 2, and 3, and 4 um, will be used. You'll be creating this as you go through those previous modules. You'll be asked um, when you look at the, when you go to Module 5, you're going to watch a short YouTube video that talks about creativity. Your performance project will be to put all your work from the semester together in a digital format as part of a professional portfolio. This will be more than doing a video teach. Rather, you will present what you have learned in a manner that e exemplifies your knowledge and expertise. The creative door is open for the project along with a lengthy period time period to fulfill the requirements. The pro project demands that you create, think, and revise several times well before a final product is submitted. Once again, do not wait until the last week or two to complete this project. An extension will not be granted under any circumstance. Some ideas for digital format, you can use Keynote. If you're using a Mac, um, you may add video or audio with it. PowerPoint with video and or audio. You can do a podcast. You can do a YouTube uh, video. You can even create a website. There are many other formats you can choose to create a web presence. So imagine what you can do and be creative. So that's our introductory video. Let's get started and all through this course imagine what you can do and be creative.